<laughs> hi i was going to put this off wait okay that's better i was gonna put this off until like i got cute and i felt cute and like the girls was lifted up because i was wearing a bra and then i was like i'm not doing that I'm, I'm just not gonna do that i can't tell if i'm looking at the camera because i'm not i don't have my camera right now since the last time we spoke i was talking about Since the last time we spoke, I was talking. I don't like that. I'm gonna keep you guys over here. I don't like that. I like this. Since the last time we spoke, I was complaining about Black TikTok and how I didn't feel like they were doing anything for people, um, specifically Black people on the app. Like we were still having the same issues. We didn't have the same opportunities. Like they had like cute little meetups and it was fine, but it's like, where's the money? Since that video, Black TikTok has not changed from my understanding. I have a brand new TikTok account, as a matter of fact. Like the old one was scrapped. A whole lot of life has happened in between that video and now broke up with that situation ship i started cosplaying oh and i lost my house in a fire and that brings us to here and now i haven't really been doing youtube because there was this fear of people having opinions about my videos or not liking my videos or being like you shouldn't say that in your videos but it's like this is my experience i i had a huge issue with people saying their opinions on my videos on my experience like and I didn't have the language or the words to say how. The main issue was what I would internalize other people's ideas or perceptions or what they took from their experiences and were trying to project onto me. And not all in bad ways, not all. Some people like very much overstep, like, I don't know you. But some people were just, you know, protecting me, precautions, all that good stuff. But we're good now. I have the language to say. I'm gonna talk about what's real in my experience and if it makes you uncomfortable, you don't have to watch. You don't have to listen. But know that I'm happy and I'm well today. It's been a lot of, you know, growth and it feels like a lot of death and rebirth without dying and without, you know, rebirthing. We'll get into everything I mentioned at the beginning of the video and other videos, but yeah, I wanted this to be like a check-in because <laughs> the way I kind of just disappeared, I was actively on TikTok and everything else, Instagram, even Facebook, like mm -hmm. for some reason here, I completely abandoned. And I think it was because the instant gratification that TikTok gave, like I put out a video, it got so many views and it was like, mm, I'm that girl, but it wasn't really anything sustainable and i didn't really get much from it if anything from like working with brands i made a max of five thousand dollars and it's like that's it babe you've been gone for years like i should be like top of the moon but i was trying to use a platform that doesn't care about black women and i don't know what the tube of you is doing but we're back we're here we're gonna talk about things because i have a lot to talk about oh <sighs> I have so much to say. I decided to name this video the Saturn Return Midpoint because your girl is 28 years old. Now, if anybody's hearing that, they're like, oh my God, are you into the whole astrology thing? Yeah, sure. I know a thing or two. I know a thing or two about a lot of things. Ask me a question. I'll let you know. I know about, never mind, I don't feel like it all just left my brain just now. I decided to name it that because there is something ever so gruesome and violent yet beautiful about that point between 27 and 30. Part of me, I feel it right now, part of me is very angry because I don't recall a single poison telling me about this event telling me that all of a sudden I'm gonna want to be in relationships. I'm going to really make or break decisions of career and children. This was the year. Like these are the pivotal years of my life. They'll say the generic things like, oh, enjoy your 20s. Oh, make mistakes. Oh, like all this stuff. But they don't say, hey, life is going to kick your ass from 27 to 30. And it's kicking it into whatever direction you want your ass to go into right nobody said that nobody even hinted everybody knows 
everybody knows because every time I talk about like, yeah, you know, I've been going through it. I'm 28. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone has a testimony about how they like 25 or 27 or whatever to 30 or 30 something were some really like mm, 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 years. And then it didn't necessarily settle out, but you kind of get more grounded in the person you are and or want to be and i'm like that's good things to know i got a preview of it when i turned 25 made me you know consider the fact that men who date women younger than 25 who are older than 25 are kind of gross to me because i feel like everybody knows i feel like this is worldwide information that a woman's frontal cortex isn't fully developed until like 25 around that time if you are under 25 don't make any decisions <laughs> that's how serious the frontal cortex being developed is like i swear to y'all like a good month into being 25 it was like it was like looking around and going oh and the transition of life with this fully developed cortex has been hell <laughs> hell with some sprinkles of like heavenly soda i don't know why i said soda but like it's carbonated it's kind of hard like the the little sips of heavenly soda that you get are like it's like mcdonald's sprite with a little bit of twang like more flavors more sweet does that make sense to anybody i know it does it has to oh found out adhd is checking out and if it does watch your mouth don't hurt my feelings i'm also very sensitive and i cry in public and whatever the tears start to flow now y'all have no idea i have morphed like a transformer for a while it just felt kind of weird and not embarrassing but vulnerable to talk about these experiences and how things are kind of shifting for me also it was very important to me to have a safe space and now all the space i've ever had is burnt up it's like what better time than now you know what i mean i didn't want to wait until life was figured out and life was kind of settled and the noise quieted down to be like hey guys let me tell you what happened like i i think it's important for me to start talking about this stuff while i'm in it i absolutely hate when people like come out of nowhere to be like hey i made it through this thing and this is how personally i feel like i can conquer things when i see somebody in it and they're like this ain't it like it's not gonna be the end there's something very encouraging about that and i feel like people need encouragement and it's kind of hard to be encouraged when somebody's already made it out the rain and the fire I use fire puns a lot and every time I do people like stop and stare like should you be talking about that? I was like if everyone doesn't lighten up before I go crazy. I'm really for and with the people who are like in it deep. Like me and my friends and a lot of people around me we are all in it deep and every now and then somebody will crack some code or I'll crack a code and it's like let me share this with somebody just in case they're struggling with it. I have a therapist now so oh can't wait to get into that it's crazy because now that i'm kind of like flowing talking to myself talking to you i kind of feel not like myself again but i'm back into tapping into something i left alone for a while and i forgave myself for it like i'm not mad at myself for like stopping i understand why i did now i'm here and it's lit so i know they like long videos on youtube so um it's everything that i want to talk about is gonna be a long chit chat so i'm here for it also the title of the video is a lie the midpoint of my saturn return is actually april 19th that's somebody's birthday and if i don't remember it's not because i hate you it's because there's so much going on and the adderall is wearing off i just feel like i'm at a midpoint because i just feel like i'm <sighs> gearing up and i'm putting on the armor for the next half of transformation and self-realization and being grounded and just setting the tone for what my 30s are really gonna be and i'm very excited and i'm very scared because i'm really grabbing life by the thong i know life wears a thong and that's the only form of underwear they wear very weird but that's life I'm really trying to grab life by the thong and just have my time okay because this is my experience and i want it to go how i want if any of y'all who are subscribed see this as a notification whoa 
I bet it's because you forgot to unsubscribe. If you're here, you're generally like excited to see me. Hi! <laughs> I hope you're well. If you're not, let me know. Oh, let me know in the comments if anybody else is experiencing their Saturn return. Let me know how y'all are doing. And I already know the answer, but I want details. I want the nitty gritty, give content warning uh, details on that. Uh, I will have longer forming content as the ideas flow, but I just wanted to come here to show that <laughs> I'm alive. You know what did it? I actually finished the list of all the things I lost in the house fire between makeup and my stuff. And I'm very much at this point where it's like, okay, there's nothing that you need to focus on doing. So why don't you upload that video? And I wanted to come to y'all like real like, And my boyfriend's shirt and my oh, I have a boyfriend like not a situation ship not a if or or maybe a boyfriend that, that my family knows about that I've posted online oh oh boy are we going to get in y'all not ready I'm glad to be back if I am back because who knows I might upload this and do a Corey Kenshin and be gone for nine months but I'm glad to be here and I am so so grateful in advance for the people who saw the notification clicked it and said hey uh, I thank you guys in advance for your support and love I'm thankful for me to me for and saying welcome back T and I hope you're actually ready to talk about this stuff because now you have to because you mentioned it don't run don't don't run charge your phone um and get to it so yeah not sure where i'm gonna do other youtube videos it might be in the comfort of the temp home <laughs> might be in the makeup studio got a makeup studio that i'm doing makeup in ah there's so much to touch up on um also discovered i am not human i am a fairy thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you support it and want to see more give it a like let me know about your mid Saturn return or if you are past it, how it went for you in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my God, I never did my intro. Hey guys, it's your girl, Miss Tiana Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for clicking on that. I forgot how to do my intro. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Miss Tiana Nicole. No, is that what I said? Hey y'all, it's your girl, Miss Tiana Nicole. <sighs> Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Tiana Nicole back for a new video. For a new video? Hey you guys, it's your girl Miss Tiana Nicole here with a new video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're. <sighs> what did I say? Maybe I should say something different now. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Tiana Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on that link. Oh, that's what I said. Do people even do intros on YouTube anymore?